The new killer, the Dredge's power, is called Reign of Darkness. Its special ability is called the Gloaming. Once activated, the Dredge leaves behind a remnant. You then have the option to either return to the remnant you left behind or teleport to any locker. You can also cancel this by releasing the charge button. If a survivor makes contact with the remnant, it destroys it. The Dredge cannot return to the remnant if it has been destroyed. After teleporting to a locker, the Dredge can either exit the locker or teleport to another locker. You can teleport a total of three times. Survivors are able to see what locker the Dredge is in based off of the visual effects. Survivors have the ability to lock lockers. If the Dredge tries to exit a locked locker, he will be slowed down. Each locker can only be locked once. The Dredge has the ability to break lockers by performing a basic attack. If you teleport to a locker with a survivor in it, you will grab them from it. The Dredge cannot teleport to a locker within 12 meters of a hooked survivor. Nightfall. Whenever a healthy survivor is injured or hooked, the Nightfall meter builds. Nightfall builds faster for each injured survivor. The Nightfall meter also builds whenever you teleport. Once the Nightfall meter is filled, Nightfall begins. When Nightfall is active, the survivors must navigate in near total darkness. During Nightfall, the Dredge teleports faster and is undetectable. When Nightfall is active, the killer and the survivor both are outlined in white, and that's the Dredge's power basically explained. Thank you for watching the video, and please consider subscribing for more content.